Hey everyone, my name is Olaf, and today I'll show you how to make this exact animation from start to finish in Blender. As always, it's going to be quick and easy, so uh, let's get started. Okay, so start off by switching from Blender Render to Cycles Render for better shading, and then click X to delete the default cube. Then click Shift A, go into Empty, and add a sphere. Then click S to scale. We will use this empty to control the planets. Then click Shift A, go into Mesh, and add a UV sphere. Then click S to scale, make it a little bit smaller than the empty. Then left click to confirm the scale. Then go into Modifiers, add modifier, and add a subdivision surface modifier. We will increase the subdivisions to three or four, and then click Smooth Shading. Then select the empty by holding in Shift, and then click Shift D to duplicate, and then Y to grab the duplication on the y-axis. Then click S to scale them down. This will be the planet orbiting around the sun. Then select the planet and click Shift D to duplicate and then click X to grab it on the x-axis and then click S to scale it down. And this will be the moon. Now we need to set the moon parent to the planet's empty, so hold on shift and select the empty, then click Control p to set the sphere parent to the empty. And then select the empty and select the planet, and then click Control p to set it parent to the planet. And then select the planet and then the empty for the sun, hold on shift and click Control p to set it parent. And then select the empty and then the sun, and then click Control p and it's very important that you have the same order when it comes to the parenting. And as you can see, we now have a rig for the sun, planet, and the moon. And if you select the empty, click R set, you will be able to rotate the moon or the planet around it. So let's go into file, click save as, let's make a new file on your computer so that we can save it before we go to the next step in case something crashes along the way. So enter. And uh, now it's time to keyframe the rotations. So uh, let's select the empty, and then click N to uh, see the transform settings, and click I to keyframe the rotation. And let's go to uh, frame 250. And let's rotate the uh, planet 360 degrees around the uh, sun on the z-axis. Click R, then set to rotate it on the z-axis. Then left click to confirm and click I to keyframe the new rotation value. But as you can see, the animation speed changes, so we need to go into the graph editor and change it to a linear type of animation. So click T and change it to linear. And that way it's going to have the same speed throughout the whole animation. Then let's select the planets empty and click I to keyframe the rotation. Then let's go to frame 250. And we need to change the set axis value to minus 360 times 12 for the 12 months. So uh, make it 360 times 12. And then click I to keyframe the new rotation value. And as you can see now, the animation speed changes once again. So we need to go into the graph editor and change it to a linear type of animation by clicking T. Let's go back, and as you can see now, we have the correct animation. So now we can go to the next step, which is to add some lighting and some materials. So let's start off by moving the 3D cursor below the sun and click Shift A and add a plane. Then click S to scale it up, and then left click to confirm the uh, scale. And let's select the lamp, so right click to select the lamp, go into the lamp settings, change it into a sun, the size to 1, and then click use nodes, and then increase the strength to 7 for a stronger light. Then click G to grab, and then R to rotate the sun. Okay, and if we go into rendered view, you will see what it looks like. And as you can see, we have the basic lighting, and before I go to the next step of the tutorial, you can also change the uh, rendering from CPU to GPU for faster rendering. But if you don't have a GPU, you can still use the CPU. So uh, let's go to the next step of the tutorial, which is to add the materials. So let's start off with the floor. 
So uh, go to materials, new, then let's change it into a glossy material and click shift set to see what it looks like in rendered view and I might set the uh, roughness to 0.1 and then the color to a darkish or black color. So uh, something like this, and then select the sun, new material and change it from diffuse to glossy and the roughness to 0.2 and for the color I will make it kind of an orange color but you can obviously change it to whatever color you want. For the sake of making this tutorial short and simple I'm only going to use simple materials like the diffuse and glossy material. For the background let's make it a little bit black and the space look then select the planet change it into a glossy material and the roughness to 0.35 let's make it blue just like the earth and then select the uh, moon new material and let's make it gray and now we have the basic materials so let's go into the camera numpad 0 to see through the camera and then click shift F to use the fly cam and then move around with W, A, S and D just like in a video game so uh, let's find the uh, position you want for the animation and make sure everything is within the frame of the camera. Okay, so now we have everything. We have the animation, we have the materials, and we have set up the camera. So now we can just perfect the materials and the colors before we go to the next step of the tutorial, which is to set up the render settings. So uh, I think I like this color. Very orangey. And then let's go into the camera icon, which is the render settings and increase the resolution quality to 100% and then change the output folder which is where all of the rendered images end up. So make a new folder, give the folder a name and then select the folder and then give the render a name. So just call it toot or whatever, doesn't really matter. And then let's scroll down to the sampling Increasing the sampling value will increase the quality of the render, but also increase the render time. So let's go into performance, and if you have a GPU card, I would recommend changing it to uh, 500 by 500 tiles. If not, just keep it at 64. And then let's make a test render to see what it looks like before we start the animation. So click render, and after a minute, this is what it looks like, and I think it looks good. So let's just change a few more settings before we start rendering the whole animation. I think this looks okay. So now all we have to do is to click animation and it's going to render out the whole animation. So uh, click animation and that's it for this tutorial. If you have any questions leave them in the comments and I'll post a new tutorial very soon. So thanks for watching.